My name is Sam Owens. I'm the Senior Director of Product Development at BounceX. I was a product manager in the fitness industry, not really working in tech at all. And now I do kind of a much bigger picture product management uh, job at a tech company after doing software development here for a couple of years. A couple of reasons. One, I wanted to get closer to figuring out how things are actually built and getting to do some of that. And I really wanted to get into tech, a faster moving industry with uh, more opportunities, more motivated people. Just jump in kind of with both feet. There's uh, this kind of like trepidation a little bit around it where uh, you think about it, you do research, you think about it, you do research. Just once you like know kind of that it's the thing you want to do, just jump in and do it. So I looked at a bunch of different code schools and uh, did a lot of research. I'm definitely like the kind of person that overanalyzes things. Uh, but once I kind of got through researching Flatiron, it seemed like a no-brainer. They seem, and they are, uh, the kind of organization that is super, super focused on the people that go there. Uh, a lot of the Flatiron kind of attitude is the better the people that kind of come into and then out of Flatiron are, the better their business will be, whereas other schools seem to be more about creating like a scale, a rapidly scaling business model. Uh, and I never really felt like I was kind of a, I don't know, like a one or a zero or somebody like checking a box towards their machine scaling at Flatiron. I felt like it was a very human experience. When you dive into the fully immersive like world of learning to code, you constantly encounter this like imposter syndrome or this feeling of like, can I do this? Like, I don't really know what's going on. And kind of learning that being in that zone is where you're going to learn the most. Being comfortable with being uncomfortable. Uh, you kind of have to always be putting yourself in that position no matter where you are to be learning. I was the first kind of junior engineer hired. Um, and shortly after we hired a second, I eventually was kind of put in charge of this growing team, uh, the, the integration team over at BounceX, and I grew that to over 20 people over the course of two years as the company scaled, recruiting a ton of people out of Flatiron. And um, so it was really neat to see like a team of junior and junior-ish engineers kind of built from this like new age of boot camp grads, then to being a team that was kind of the size that the company was when I started. I'd gotten to a point where I'd slowly transitioned from kind of coding 100% of the time to managing 100% of the time once the team got really, really big. Um, and then at some point, one of our new products was being released. And for some reason, our CEO asked me to kind of uh, take charge of the rollout of that product internally um, and all the stuff that went with it. And I guess uh, the way that I did that uh, you know, worked really well and he was happy and every, everything kind of went pretty smooth. So he kind of kept handing me more projects. And then I got to a point where I was kind of split between trying to do two different jobs and I kept getting more and more kind of further up the product life cycle chain. Um, and then I kind of talked with my boss at the time who was, who's our head of engineering and him uh, about a transition plan because the CEO wanted me to move over to the product team, but I also didn't want to just abandon uh, the team that I had built. There's another Flatiron grad who's uh, in charge of that team now, which is cool. <laughs> Always like asking about things. Go to your direct uh, kind of supervisor, your mentor, and ask what you need to work on. Ask what you need to learn. Uh, if you're a junior engineer and you want to drop the junior, ask whoever is the head of your engineering department, what the difference is, what your gaps are. If you're a software engineer and you want to be a senior software engineer, ask or ask you know your boss or ask the other senior engineers. Um, don't just sit and work and then hope somebody will notice. You should always be trying to figure out what the next steps are and kind of work your way towards those things. Particularly at startups, there's always opportunities for different things to get done, things to be noticed and done better. Everybody's kind of always strapped for time. So identifying things that need to get done and taking care of them well uh, will go a long way. If 
been on a pretty wild ride with Bounce Exchange and I love it. And I want to keep building and shipping kind of products that drive undeniable value for our customers. 